Getting the start for the Aviators is Drew Demick and Bryce Harper. As for the Islanders, they're rolling with Peter Petito at center with Ryan Hobbs on his wing. Back on defense, you have the captain of this team, Angelo Cascignano, as well as defenseman Chris O'Hay. And James Clifford is the right wing on that line as we are now underway here in Brooklyn. As Hobbs is centering pass for Clifford, comes to the point, and there's a drive from Cascignano at the point. That goes high, and wide Aviators content to chip it out of the zone. Last time these two teams met up here in Brooklyn, it was an absolute fireworks back and forth. An 8-7 final that went to overtime, where eventually it was Andrew Worst for the Islanders who grabbed the game-winning goal in overtime. And here's a shot off the rush by Peter Petito on goal, and that one is covered up by Ashton Goble. Goble, the number one netminder on this USPHL elite goaltender. So we'll have a good goaltender matchup. We'll have plenty of offense, as we saw the last time these two teams collided. 8-7 in favor of the Islanders in overtime, but it was Bryce Harper who has the puck right now. I should say it was his defense partner, Andrew Demick, who's right near him, who scored the game-tying goal to make it seven apiece with exactly two seconds left in the third period in that one. So that was a thriller. Aviators were able to at least squeak out a point in that one. As now moving into the offensive end comes Jake Bergman, but he's going to be whistled down just off the bench as he had that game-winning, overtime-winning goal back here in Brooklyn the last time these two teams played to make it 8-7, 3-44 into that overtime period as now this pass up ahead for Sheebin is picked off by Peter Allen. Now Allen's pass collected back by Derek Sheebin as he tries to move around Andrew Wurst. Now this is Sheebin going to work around Cresimani and take it behind the net. Sheebin puts on the brakes, runs into number 86 and Dylan Quinn whose brother Jacob Quinn not in the lineup tonight as he's a wraparound try from Sheebin that deflects to the point. Now Bryce Harper going to throw this one that deflects off the sideboard and now the puck comes to Peter Allen. Now through the neutral zone, Sean Antonucci will move it up ahead. This is Andrew Wurst up the left side. Wurst takes a body from Drew Demick, works it behind Antonucci as he takes a big hit but gets a good centering pass there that wasn't collected by Wurst and then comes to the point and Knights both Friday and Saturday two weekends ago and then on Sunday night they faced the second place Jersey Hitmen did not win either of those three games but nonetheless they are back in action here tonight with a weekend off sandwiched in between last weekend so now we have the Islanders whistle down for an offside Jacob Wang now back on the ice it's Thomas Doyle against William Larson on the face off here Larson wins that face-off clean. Now on the opposite side, Bryce Harper going to bank this puck into the Islander end. So the face-off now to the left of the Aviator netminder. Larson, another clean win against Doyle. Back-to-back -back face face-off wins for William Larson. But he has a turnover as this one's then centered by Doyle. My Michael Shen was trying to find it. Now it comes to Chris O'Hay. Now he'll send it back door. Backhand shot by Doyle. Saved by Goble and the referee blew the So we'll have... Doyle and Larson round three in the faceoff circle. This time it's Doyle who wins it. And now Cresimani will move it down low. This is Michael Shen. Again, did not play. Neither did Jacob Wang the last time these two teams met. And now Wang comes away with the puck. Wang trying to dangle his way in. Has it poked off a stick and out of the zone. Back for it is Angelo Cascignano, the captain of this PAL Islander team. Now Alec Young tried to move in. Had it stripped away by Wang, who gets it to Shen. And then Shen. We'll flip this one deep in the Aviator zone. He and Bryce Harper both back to collect the puck as Harper will kick it up the boards. And now Wang, pass for Shen, that throws one on goal, save made Goble, and then another shot came from a tight angle by Wang that was also covered up by Goble. Now Merviak, Arthur Merviak, the defenseman, will back end this one down low. This is Michael Shen who draws a penalty, and it looks like the Aviators are going to be short-handed as it looked like holding was the initial signal from the referee. New York, Eddie Kinzel to take the draw. When I say New York, I meant Aviators there. I know they're both from New York. But nonetheless, Eddie Kinzel against Peter Petito to take the draw. 8.53 left here in the first period. Kinzel wins it clean. This is Harper at the point. His shot gets deflected into the corner. Looks like that hit off Chris O'Hay. And now James Clifford. A pass up and out for Ryan Hobbs. But he fans on it, and now it's intercepted by McGowan. Now up ahead, this is Derek Sheeban. He's got Kinzel on his wing. A backhander pass for Sh Kinzel. That was just 
behind him. We now kept him at the point. This is Bryce Harper looking for a deflection with Sheeban. Didn't get any on it. And then Clifford able to clear it out of the zone. To Demick, a backhander. Here is Michael McGowan. McGowan's pass gets broken up. Now it comes to the point. Drew Demick looking for a deflection again. That was Sheeban. Just missed that deflection attempt. And then the Islanders send this puck all the way into the Aviators zone. That's going to be an icing against the Islanders. 8 0 second period underway. Antonucci against Tinsel on the faceoff. And the puck almost. And it is now dropped. We are underway. Demick and Worst going to go back to get it. This is Andrew Worst who puts on the brakes. And now he'll swing it around the boards as it comes through to Dylan Quinn. And now intercepted, moving the other way. This is Eddie Kinzel up the left side. Kinzel now into the offensive end. Throws one on goal, and that is covered up by Lucenti. Aviators coming up. Eddie Kinzel in to take the draw, as he just had that last wrist shot off the rush. As now this one up ahead. Now this is Dylan Quinn, who plays this puck deep into the Aviator zone. And now this is Andrew Wersch trying to cut into the slot, has it poked away. And now the Aviators come the other way. Sheeban plays this one up ahead for Michael McGowan. McGowan trying to work around Chris O'Hague as he takes a hit along the boards. And now the puck comes free to Dylan Quinn. Quinn tied up here with Sheeban. Quinn falls down. Antonucci also battling with now Michael McGowan along the sideboards. McGowan trying to work free. Takes a hit from Cascignano. Puck worked to the opposite side. Now Worst avoids a hit, and then it looks like Cascignano made it hit his head along the glass trying to hit Michael McGowan. Cascignano maybe shaking up. I can't tell. He's on two knees for sure, and it looks like could not get a goal on the man advantage. We are still scoreless here in the second period. As now Cascignano tries to move it. It was blocked down. Now Matthew Gibbons with the puck. His shot on goal covered up by Lucente. Face off to the right of Lucente. Alec Young off the draw. His shot gets blocked into the opposite point. Now Jacob Wang comes through the neutral zone. This is Wang now up the right side. Skating this one towards the net. A backhander. Save made goal. Well, the puck's loose. Usually plays center. Now Jacob Wang into the offensive end. Cutting in the slot. His shot gets blocked up and out of play. In front of your camera. Larson wins it clean. Harper moves it across to Demick. And then his pass picked off by Cresimani. Now Peter Allen able to just keep that one in off the top of the glass. Thought that was headed for the netting. Nevertheless, we play on. This is Wagner leaving it for Michael Shen. And now it's worked across to Cresimani. Approaching five and a half. Cresimani's pass. Shen going to chase it down with Larson bearing down on him. Now Shen's pass gets deflected. Harper tried to glove it to himself as he almost had it intercepted by Wang. Good recovery there by Drew Demick, his defense partner. Drew Demick and Bryce Harper, the defense pair, to start as the puck has dropped. We are underway here in the third period. Now this is Melvin Rosendahl into the offensive end as he throws one on goal. Steer to the corner by Lucenti. Now the puck knocked off of Patrick Tott's stick. Swung around. It comes through for Andrew Wurst. Again, Worst had the overtime winner. He was the hero right on this end of the ice where the puck is now for the Islanders. It was an 8-7 final the last time these two teams played here back in December as a centering pass for Bergman was sent in front by Rosendahl. Bergman was stick-checked on the play, could not find the loose puck. Now this is Antonucci up the left side as his shot gets deflected to the corner and then out of the zone. This is Chris O'Hay who runs into the official but does control the puck as he takes a hit from Melvin Rosendahl and then O'Hay works it across to Andrew Worst. Now Michael Shen just off the bench. His wrist shot gets blocked to the corner by William Larson and then Di Piola fires it around to the far side. As it comes through, Bryce Harper will bank it up ahead for Alec Young and leaves it for William Larson. Now his pass across to Matthew Gibbons. He plays it back for Larson, cutting in a shot saved by Lucenti in tight from William Larson. Now this one shoveled up ahead by Matthew Gibbons. Arthur Merviak going to track it down for the Islanders. Trying the puck is kept in, though, at the opposite blue line by Merviak for the moment. And now Larson intercepts. Larson gets it out of the zone. And now picks it off in the neutral zone. Made a nice deke move for the moment, then had it intercepted by Michael Shen. Shen takes a whack from Alec Young as he tries to move in deep. Young 
intercepts and his drop pass for Colin Hogriff as he swings it around the far boards. Now Bryce Harper takes a hit along the boards but does get the puck to Drew Demick. And now the Aviators control as Drew Demick into the offensive end. His shot got blocked by Tyler DiPaola. But then a turnover here as this is Alec Young who has by the left circle trying to throw one across as he had a man in Kinzel on the back side. And now Kinzel, his pass comes to Drew Demick at the far point and Demick's pass gets deflected into the glass. Now Kinzel with it in the corner takes a hit along the boards as that came from Tyler DiPaola. Now up ahead, this is Jacob Wang into the offensive zone. Wang, his shot on goal is saved by Goble. 13-22 remaining. As now, Drew Demick is able to chip this puck out of the zone. This is Derek Sheeban moving in. The offensive end is his shot goes wide. Now Bryce Harper keeps it in back for Derek Sheeban. Has it knifed away by Peter Allen. And then Allen's pass attempt blocked by Derek Sheeban. Now Allen, the defenseman, going to skate this puck out of the zone and into the offensive end. Allen loses control, though, and has it intercepted by Eddie Kinzel. Now up ahead, this is Michael McGowan. Had it poked away for the moment by Petito. Kinzel now has it. So here's Kinzel in the corner. His shot on goal. Save made Lucente. The puck's loose. Trying to find it was McGowan. Now it comes to Pankowski at the point, And he'll play it back to Eddie Kinzel in the corner. Kinzel tried to move it into the creek. Approaching the halfway mark. 10.06 remaining in the third period. Still 1-0 now in favor of the Isles as this puck is steered to the corner and taken here by Alec Young. Young backhand pass looking for Bergman as he throws a hit on Peter Allen, but Allen comes away with the puck and flips it up ahead to Jacob Wang. Wang trying to split Demick and Harper, cannot as the puck comes on goal, but as that will do it as the final score is 1-0 courtesy of a 34 save shutout for Christopher Lucente, the Islanders win this by a final of one nothing.